This week, I'm in the Azores to meet some incredible people and to reconnect with what it means to be human. I don't know exactly what that means yet, but that's what I'm gonna find out this week. Tim's come over to my retreat, the Learning to Human retreat. We've got a few other guys here, everyone's pretty similar. We all do handstands, flexibility, and bodyweight strength training, basically circus without the juggling. Who's got the most Dodge car? This car doesn't have a speedometer. You don't know how much fuel's in the tank. Can I just need to hope for the best? <laughs> Love it. I know that there's going to be some incredible shots in this video of people doing some incredible things. I hate how social media ends up just being highlights and the absolute best of the best of what people can do. It doesn't show the journey and the process of how they got there. And to me, that's the most valuable part. All of the guys here have been on a journey themselves. They didn't start like this, they put in the time, the effort, and they've followed through on what they set out to do. This is just another stepping stone in their journey to getting to wherever it is they're heading. Five, yeah. So don't bend the knees. Push and come under. Oh yeah. Hold grip, now keep going. Now muscle up, muscle nice. up, up, up. Good. Hey. Hey, so we've just finished the first training session of the first day. It's been great to have my students here and see them in person. Some of them I haven't met before. And we finished up with a strong ring session going over rolls. So we were doing uh, muscle up transitions, forward rolls, and then we introduced back rolls as well to some of the lads who had some of the prerequisites to start playing with that element. It's much harder than a forward roll unless you've done a bit of extra work. It's not really in the realm of like accessibility. This has been described as the worst car. We've got the finest paint. I love the patchy roof. I think that's my favorite little bit. This would be good for a Pit My Ride episode. Oh, look at the air intake on the hood. Look at this. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so the first time Dwight gave me his car, I didn't know how to put it in reverse and I had to reverse to pull out of the airport because there was a car in front of me. Yeah. Oh. So I opened the door and because I was panicking because it was in front, I was waiting. And I just started like pushing on my foot <laughs> to like get behind the car <laughs> so I could then put it into drive. Flintstones. Oh. There are, I think, eight people with us. So I think we'll get introductions done as we go along. Carlos doesn't even know it, but he's about to introduce himself. Am I? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Carlos, coming from California, made it all the way out. I'm a movement coach. I teach handstands, I teach flexibility, teach ring work, teach strength work, whatever we need to reach anybody's goals. Excellent. Yeah, there's loads of very high skill people here. Very, very tight knit group, but nobody's ever met each other before. But it already feels like everyone knows each other. Yeah. It feels like we've already been together for a week. Yeah, we've literally just hit 24 hours. It's crazy. A photo in here would be sick. <laughs> yeah, I would love it. Good okay. Well, all, all the Irish on one side of the table. <laughs> oh, I'll show you That was properly yummy. What was it? It was like local so dish? That was beef al catra. Basically a, a slow cooked beef stew. They, they cook them in these slate pots in, a, in an oven. It's very tender. They use really fatty pieces of meat. It's their traditional dish on Teresa. Right now, we're actually going the wrong way. We're about to go that way. I'm going to walk up that hill. And hopefully get some nice views and some good shots from up there. Let's roll. <laughs> Love it. The view up here is incredible, which means that we can only do one thing. It feels super scary. So dark, hits in the He'll have this subtitle for anyone that wants it afterwards. I'm Alan, I'm from Ireland, I'm from County Cork. I just like doing handstands, do a bit of mobility work. Don't do much strength work with them maybe once a week. Is that all we do? It's just kind of just tipping over. See how it goes. It's pretty hard to film because I'm like limiting out. There we go, <laughs> on the level bit. Your steps are bigger than mine. So like... <laughs> yeah. I've got really long legs in, in ratio. Yeah. I, I can sit next to really short people and I'm the same height. And as soon as I stand, I just grow. Would you train often yourself now? I kind of get to cheat because I know uh, Tom Merrick. Yeah, I went to school yeah. with him and stuff. Yeah. 
So at the moment, I'm stealing all his programs. <laughs> We're back and he's going to show me my room. So Timmy's got his own room now. I have. Let's see what he's got. Been crashing at his. <laughs> You've got the best door. <laughs> but secretly, brand new, right? This this oh, has yeah. been built within the last week. You got a little balcony. How's it open? <laughs> Here we go. This looks like some Portuguese equivalent of corn. Nice little stream in the jungle. Perhaps. I am like my back garden. It's just a rainforest. Yeah, you're a bit exposed. But, you know, <laughs> I think we're supposed to cut out the ribs. Erdy's big on spear fishing. He's feeding us tonight with a load of fish that he's caught. Actually smells really good, even though it's raw. Amberjack can be eaten as sashimi, but I'm not sure which parts and how much, so again, oh, fair. It's, it's probably not worth risking it without the knowledge. Yeah. See, that should have come off with the actual fish. It's all good. We're learning. What, what, are, you, what are you learning to do? Oh, no. <laughs> 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 to human. <laughs> We have the Atlantic human. <laughs> the sun is out today. <laughs> and it's feeling good. <laughs> we haven't get all the way round without touching the feet on the floor. I'll buy their lunch. <laughs> What's up guys? Yeah. Joe Laird here. <laughs> Once again. <laughs> that's, a, that's a technique. God, he's made it. No, you need to get... You're shutting off. You need to get to the last ring. <laughs> Get both hands on. Woo! Woo! Man's made it look easy. Go on, two rounds. <laughs> right, so now we're gonna have a quick calm down and chill some water and some shade. And then we're heading off to a restaurant in the middle of the island. It has a beautiful view. And they serve their own made ice cream from their own dairy cows. Also their own made meat with their with their cows too. We're gonna go to the main town, Angra, and we'll be going to the beach there. Maybe a little walk through the town. It's quite scenic. It's very old, rustic looking. I'm gonna go in Sarah's car. This is uh, Erdie's girlfriend. A little bit of a testosterone max yeah, out at the moment, is, isn't actually, it? Surprisingly. Yeah, it's great. You're like, Oh yeah, I'll just go off and do my own thing for a bit. Yeah. Let you guys match you out and, and then, then chill. I'll come back once you're done. Yeah, yeah. When we're <laughs> when we're all like burnt out and mellow, it's like hi. Yeah, then we can chat. Yeah, exactly. And we have the food and then it's all good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's go, let's go, let's go. This is for the ladies right here. They look good on you. Ready to eat a horrendous amount of ice cream? Uh, yes, I'm gonna, uh, my brain is gonna freeze up uh, like it is right now, but I'm gonna be have ice cream all over my face. You getting any? This is the good stuff. I'm getting two scoops, coffee and coconut milk. Yeah, I love this thing. That's uh, mint and I, I went for the salted caramel. Go on, handbrake turn, show us what you got. <laughs> we have no handbrake left if I do that. <laughs> We're about to do some diving. Maybe find a, a sunken ship. Oh, some treasure. As far as I'm aware, just like 20 to 30 meters in that direction. So it's, yeah, and it's a very long, very long ship. <laughs> Where you get stung? Oh, dude! Good effort. That one here, yeah. Yeah. Like, like a really bad nettle sting, but man will survive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this boy has parallettes on him all the time. It's literally an extension of you. It is absolutely an extension of me. I am one with my parallettes. But it's tough because you've got all these beautiful places in the evening to just go get some really sick shots of all these things you've been practicing and spending years building up to, but you're absolutely fried. So this island is known as the amusement park of the nine islands in the Azores. And over the last month, some of the parties and festivals have been opening up, getting some bullfights out on the streets. Though we haven't seen one of them yet. Hopefully we'll catch one before the guys leave this week. That'd be pretty wild. I've not experienced one of those before. Don't really agree with them, but definitely got to get involved with culture when you're there. So, you look like a local, Joe. <laughs> local hat. 
<laughs> Another cappuccino? Yes, him as well. I think. happen to get a really nice shot of Mark and we haven't introduced him yet. And now he's pinned in right next to me. No choice in front of the camera. You know Erdy because he used to have a gym in Hackney, yes. right? Yeah, that's where I first yeah. got into movement, really. Did a session where we did some handstands and then I'm like, I want more of this. And before you know it, you're with a load of strangers walking around an island yeah. doing handstands. Yeah, I'm the oldest one here, I think. So at 41. I only got into it when I was, what, 38? You know, I can't do everything, but focus a bit on handstands and love it. Okay, so Joe, Mark and Tim with me. Well, I'm up here. Oh, you're up on the trainers. I'm not even... <laughs> they've, got, they've got the height. That's their, that's their excuse. But, are we the chunky boys? The four chunky boys, the thick boys in the smallest car. It's because it's so powerful. It's not a normal Twingo, it's the oh. auto. Is it customised? It's off top as well. Eddie doesn't risk opening it. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, look at that. Mmm. Delish. Get some skater punk tunes on. Something heavy in a heavy car. We're ready to roll. Now it's smooth. <laughs> this is gear two, it struggles. Yeah. Full accelerator. This is everything we've got. Get some butt, yeah, there we go. This is how he drives. Let's go fast and furious. Yeah. Yeah. Safety <laughs> 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 I love Erdi's concept of learning to human being the practice that he follows. Everyone is doing this for the whole of their lives. From start to finish, we have no choice but to learn to human. It's our own process and it's something that's very sacred to who we are. Downloaded Filmic Pro. Oh, man from the man himself. <laughs> I'm just converting everyone into videographers. I can't help it. If you didn't learn about it, yeah. but you need it for your business, one of those tools that you have to invest some time into but it takes a lot of time away from your actual business to learn tim gave me that information in about 30 seconds and then now i'm going to be able to upgrade and level up my footage exactly this is the uh the morning dip one of the things that i'm doing at the moment is using the rode mic go to record erdy's audio recording audio takes very little space but it's incredibly valuable often i'll capture a moment but i won't quite get the beginning or maybe the end of a sentence and i can fill that up with b-roll but i've got that key piece of information welcome back Day three. The main areas we're looking at, hip flexors, abdomen, chest, up in towards a little bit of bicep. Uh, so basically front splits and bridge. Kinta's gonna be joining us today. She's a perfect example of loose and fluid spine and flexi body. Generally the limiting factor for front split is the, the back leg, which is hip extension. So we wanna start with quad work before we get into the deeper layers. What I wanna teach you guys is a little bit of massage work. So the elbow has like a nice little groove here. So if you see there's like a bone bit there, just behind the bone, there's like a groove. And what you can do is you can use that section of the groove. I mean, we're all kind of friends by now. <laughs> We can kind of go a bit up higher than the shorts, or you can do it over the shorts, it works as well. We want to go into the quad muscles, specifically a bit more on the outer than the inner, but like mid and outer works really well. Safe word is stopping turn. You got to figure it So I want to lock that in as best as I can. I'm going to lock, 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 posterior tilt there, and I'm going to notice this twist. It's the same twist as that you were just doing with the elbow to toe. So I'm trying to twist to square, I'm going to come up onto the heel as I get deeper. And I just want to think about locking that in as best as I can for the entire long lunge. When I feel like I'm getting limited, I'm now going to use my front knee to basically pull me deeper into that lunge while I then continue the extension. That stretch on the rings actually felt so good. There we go, little mini banana. This evening's really chill, having a bit of recovery. And then Erdy caught a massive eel, and that's what we're going to be eating. And we've got Dwight, what? who's the guy that owns this place. Uh, he's a local, and he's going to come and cook a local dish. We'll be cooking a dish called caldeirada, apparently a very famous Portuguese dish made with conga eel. The eel we caught is like a nice big eight kilo one. It's probably going to overfeed everyone. Yeah, I haven't had it yet, so I'm really looking forward to tasting it. Dwight's usually a very good cook, actually. He's really fun to be around when he's cooking he's like he's usually on it jimmy show me what you guys been making it's not the eel yet right oh, yes. 
Oh, it is the it end. It's a nice fish. Well, I'm going to make a some fish. Oh, that is, that's a meal right there. Yeah, there's the veggies. And you got the eel cut up into chunks underneath. A full erdy upper body right there. It's going to be a lot of meals in this. Yeah, shooting your ball. Look at this. It's my Better get your natural light in. Yeah, look at that. The very little one is left. Look at that. It is very moody down here today. There's a lot of fog. I think we're pretty much going to be having a dip in a cloud. I haven't seen it this thick before. So it's pretty cool. A nice a spooky day. I'm gonna try some breath holds as well actually. I'm gonna see if anyone can break the one minute mark on the 60 second breath hold. Well, uh, we'll, we'll cheat and leave, it, leave <laughs> the problem for the others. We've got Wu-Tang Clan on and loads of other just hype music and it's just gonna be a good day. It's upper body, we're doing bent arm strength, we're doing some heavy handstands. It's good vibes. <laughs> So Lewis, one of my friends on the island, is going to take us out on the boat. What time will we be meeting him? <laughs> Later Le than planned. Island time. In Angra, which is where we were the other day when we went for the espressos to see Ocean Life has to offer here, and he's doing us a favour. Take us out, Charles. Yeah. yeah, he's a very nice guy. He doesn't have to do this, but he wanted to help out. Yeah. Good to meet you. I'm Joe. Hi. Family, yeah. Yeah. Ten. Went to uh, an thousand people. I saw a lot of dolphins and whales on a lot of way. Yeah. Smaller whales that have like uh, a nose like dolphins. I'm under the boat. Oh, They're yeah. singing under the boat. Amazing. Oh, they see down there? Oh. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> it was an you. amazing experience. Good. I've become obsessed with learning about and capturing people's passions. Tell me what you think. Control can be found in the practice of strength training. It provides the focus and grit for building the lifestyles we desire. So I feel like this video explains truly who you are and the concepts that you do. It's basically the why do I want to learn from you? Why do I want to be a part of what you do? And what even is it that you do? You've got your core concepts and those are honestly, you've written those so well, they're beautiful. The introduction, why I should learn to human is kind of almost a bit forceful. Yeah. Whereas I prefer... Hi. I'm Erdi, and I practice learning to human, the process of finding a healthy balance between being human and living in artificial environments in the modern world. I'd like to introduce you to some of my core values and how they translate into our lives. Oh yeah, and then that's why the B-rolls come in, like strength training. Yeah, and yeah. If people want like a more in-depth, like what the retreat's like, I'm gonna be making a decent vlog. You can literally just have the timeline and just crunch it down. It's a good story and it's the, the value per second is high. I love it. Thanks, man. Go on, Mark. PB. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, man. Today's my day. Have your hands on your hips the way I taught you. Thumbs on the back. Yeah, good. Hold onto your hips, they're stable. So Mark's just hit calves, touching grass blades. Yeah. Which is very good. Yeah, this is PB territory for me. It's, it's all right, it's quite comfy actually. 
Mate, he's taking it for time. No messing about. That was for sure PB territory. <laughs> bit more interior yeah, tilt. Look for just a tiny bit. I'm sorry, money. Good, good. And then try and touch yeah, yeah. my foot. Do you enter my foot? Good, good. Hobbs are on the blades of grass. Yeah. Time for another adventure. Yeah. Don't know where we're going. You don't know. <laughs> Google will take us. Let's go for a wander. Look at some geography, look at some rocks. It's one of three places in the world where you can actually go inside a volcano. So that's kind of cool. It's N5 to 2. Thanks, love. In 600 meters, you will arrive at your destination. Unfortunately, we've, uh, we've arrived in a cloud. And as you can see... A little bit drizzly. Yeah, and I'm underprepared as usual. <laughs> It looks really cool. Just, uh... We are exploring paths where magma once flowed within Santa Barbara, one of several volcanoes that form the island of Teresia and the Azores. Learning to human is to explore new paths. Some result in progress, whilst others require us to backtrack and redefine a new approach with the knowledge we've gained. To take the optimum path is only possible in retrospect, but there is a shortcut. To seek from those who have already walked in the direction you desire, and then to share with people on a similar path to your own, so they can learn faster and go further than we ever could. This is my new friend, what's your name? <laughs> Elliot. Elliot. We met moments ago, but we're sticking together. We're safe in numbers. Each of us be hoping the other one's slightly slower. <laughs> What, what, what? I'm bringing Tim a half eaten bifana. Why? Because <laughs> I was going to bring you a full one, but I couldn't get over, so I started eating it and then it cleared, so I thought I'd give you the rest. I feel blessed. That's, <laughs> that's how I feel. <laughs> Cheers, mate. It's the nuts! That's a little bit dodge. Yeah, man. Got some good footage. The Mark Cam. I feel like you've got a few shots yeah, I'm going to be yeah, stealing. Yeah. You've given <laughs> us some crazy adventures. That was free. <laughs> I definitely wasn't expecting to uh, to do that. <laughs> I've got no adventures left. <laughs> uh, we, no. we burned the man out. I've got some incredible adventures coming up, so make sure you subscribe and don't miss out. See you soon.